Hi guys, so first and foremost, I want to apologize because my life is a mess. <laughs> I'm actually doing something new with my makeup. Do you guys know when you're on YouTube and you're looking at a makeup tutorial and you're looking at someone's routine and you're like, yo, their makeup is a bomb. I'm going to do everything this girl just did. So you go out and you get everything that she had in the video. You do exactly what she did in the video and your makeup still looks like crap. That's what happened to me today excuse my makeup also i have powder on my shirt also my nails are messed up like anyway let's get on with the video <laughs> today i'm gonna be telling you guys a few hair care products that i've been liking now just in case you guys are wondering this hair right now is actually three day hair this was a wash and go and i just stretched it by like adding water to my hair in a spray bottle every morning. So the first thing I want to talk about is this Cantu leave-in conditioner. This was $6 and this says it provides instant moisture leaving hair soft and manageable formulated for damaged dry or coarse hair. Now this is my everything. This is my booski. I use this every time I wash my hair. I use this. Sometimes I don't really I don't really shampoo my hair most of the time. I just go in the shower and rinse my hair with hot water and then I add this to my hair, let it sit there while I'm in the shower and then I rinse it out. Like that's it. Even though this is a leave-in conditioner, I do also use it as a leave-in but that's what I use this for and I don't feel like there's any like set way you're supposed to use products. I've been loving this. I love this smell. This is my second container like this. This is like my actual favorite hair care product ever okay so my next hair care product has to be eco styler gel now this is not honestly my favorite color my favorite one is the arganoid one but i don't know i feel like they changed the formula of these i really still like it like this is essential i really like this gel because it's not it doesn't flake it does flake they lied it does flake if you use it an excessive amount and like scratch your hair rub your hair or like lay around with it but i don't find that this flakes easily it doesn't flake easily and it never flakes on the first day so i like that also it is very moisturizing it has no alcohol in it this is essential especially if you like slicking down your hair or flicking your edges because i use this on my edges this is the only thing i use on my edges yes and they're always snatched this gives you so much versatility with your hairstyles especially being natural if you want to style your hair at all you're gonna need a good gel while we're on shea moisture let's talk about the curl enhancing smoothie now i got this one a long time ago i actually ran out of it like last time i washed my hair like which was like three days ago and ugh, this is like a tried and true like this is a cult favorite every curly girl has tried this like i'm pretty sure every curly girl has tried this and at first it is tricky to work with because it is such a thick consistency and it will weigh down your hair if you put too much now how i use this is after i get out the shower and i already put like a leave-in conditioner in or oil i like using this with nothing on my hair like just getting straight out the shower not leaving any leave-in conditioner on it, putting some oil in it, and then taking this. You don't need a whole lot, like a quarter size amount, even like a smaller amount of that because this goes very far, smooth through your hands, and then I just go like this. And then I detangle my hair again. I finger detangle my hair. And this really defines my curls, guys. And it defines my curls, but it makes my hair so soft and smooth and i feel like my hair is getting moisture at the same time so i don't think this is like a over height product like this is really a miracle in a bottle like i really love this and the next thing i want to talk about is the coconut and hibiscus curl and shine shampoo now i tried this shampoo before and i just repurchased it and i really really love this because it doesn't even feel like uh it doesn't even feel like a shampoo really it feels like a conditioner which is crazy but you do you do feel that your hair is clean but this doesn't have any sulfates or any like really harsh things so it doesn't give you that dry matted sometimes when we use like 
harsh shampoos on natural hair, your hair will feel like it's matting up as you're conditioning it. And I hate that feeling like, ugh. This shampoo doesn't do that at all. I really love this. I got this small bottle from Target. Target has in the like hair care section, they, well, at least my Target, they have like little sample sizes or like travel sizes of products. And this was also $4. So I like getting these more than I like getting the big ones just because when I get more hair, like when my hair actually grows more, I'll get bigger products, you know what I'm saying? But I have, I don't have that much hair as it is, so I don't really need a whole bunch of product. The next thing I wanna talk about is the Cantu Natural Hair Dry Deny Moisture Seal Gel Oil. Now I tried this out because I was looking for a gel that wasn't gonna leave like a hard cast on my hair like a gel that was just gonna be like just enough to hold a curl but not enough to be crunchy you get what I'm saying so I thought this would be it since it's a gel oil and not a gel but I was wrong well kind of the thing is I never saturate my hair with this because this will leave your hair feeling sticky and greasy and just like you have to wash it out this is a very sticky product so what I do, how I use this is basically like some days all my washing goes or like the third day if I want my curls to pop I'll um put some water in it and I'll take some and I'll put it on my hands and I'll just simply go like this. I use this kind of like a sealant or like a shine serum on my hair because this does add a lot of shine and this does add kind of like a layer of moisture but I would not fully saturate my hair in this I would just use it basically just to put on my ends to make them look shiny and make my curls pop that's it when I have frizz this does help a lot with frizz um, I think this was about probably like five dollars the last product I want to talk about is this argan oil from Morocco healing shine hair treatment one day I was just in Walgreens and I was looking for a hair oil and I came past these little two things and I think they were only like two dollars. A lot of hair oils, I feel like hair oils are the most expensive things ever like argan to buy like pure Moroccan oil or argan oil or coconut oil like ugh, give me a break. But I found this little gem and I remembered I used it way back when I first big chopped. When I had really short hair, I used to use this after I got out the shower. Something about this just makes your curls shine and define and makes your hair so soft. I feel it really conditioning my hair. That's the, that's the word I'm looking for, conditioning. I feel like this is conditioning my hair as well as adding shine to it. So I really like this, plus it smells amazing like it smells so good like and i would definitely recommend you try this out now i haven't found a big bottle of this though i'm trying to those are all my favorite hair care products i really hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching feel free to comment below your favorite hair products and don't forget to subscribe before you leave see you guys next time